Good morning, everyone. It's about uh, quarter past 11 on uh, the 2nd of April, uh, and uh, the second quarter of the year started in a pretty abysmal way, as you can see quite easily. The uh, number of declines on the uh, New York Stock Exchange uh, outpaced the uh, number of advances uh, by nearly 10 to 1. Uh, so uh, the short term trend on VectorVest has turned back down. The underlying trend has been down for quite a while now and we're in a confirmed down uh, situation. So the, uh, the buy sell ratio is still at 0 0.02 and very um, importantly in this little run up that we've seen uh, the buy sell ratio hasn't been able to advance at all. So uh, that's quite important I think. So let's have a look at uh, the uh, VectorVest Composite and that's the composite uh, of the USA all uh, 8,000 plus shares that we follow on the American stock markets. Uh, it's accompanied by our market timing signals and as you can see f f a really good signal on the 24th of uh, February uh, which in fact preempted this move uh, the whole way down. So uh, this is the MTI, the MTI and the RT. Uh, uh, two measures of momentum of the composite folks and uh, although those are showing potential divergence there's no divergence as yet. However if the price of the of the uh, composite were to fall to make a double bottom or make a lower bottom and the RT in fact makes a rising bottom that would be uh, in fact called bullish normal divergence that would be very positive indeed. Uh, at the moment there's still no divergence and um, the primary wave turned down uh, yesterday and uh, that favors uh, more downside here. I'll look at the uh, intraday picture in a second but uh, as we go into the trading day um, uh, the uh, short term trend is down, the longer term trend is down and the elliotticians would probably be saying that in fact this is wave one, this is wave two, this is wave three, this is wave four which is just finished and we've now got a wave five ahead. I think that when that wave five is finished then we're either at the bottom of this bear market which I in fact doubt or that we're actually going to start a fairly decent bounce which I'm really looking forward to. Now I had uh, some positions within this uh, rally over the last few days. Uh, I in fact uh, have been stopped out of quite a few of those. Uh, my methodology is quite simple. When I've made as much as I've risked I get my stop to entry and uh, then let the other half run and in the three that I've remaining, three positions that I've remaining, they're spread bets, the stops are at entry and I've taken off a little bit of profit in each one of them. So um, uh, not too bad uh, but I expect the market to fall a bit today. So uh, let's have a look now and have a look at uh, the uh, futures market and the futures market in fact uh, that's an hourly chart and it's made uh, five waves off the bottom which is quite good and it's made three waves back and uh, those of you that know my work will know that it's actually stopped at uh, this particular level um, and uh, many uh, people who follow the Wyckoff methodology will in fact be buying it at this level so very important level uh, on the Dow at 21,000 if you were to see that level on the Dow at 21,000 failing folks then we're probably going to see quite a strong move down uh, towards the lows of last Monday. So an exceptionally important few days as we come up to this non-farm payroll report. Uh, uh, for the moment this 21,000 level on the Dow is holding. Uh, I think a breach to that level and we'll see a test of next Monday. I'm hoping it's going to hold for those three positions that I've got. Uh, but I think the bright side is that once, um, if there is a sell-off to the downside, uh, that'll probably be the end of this, f at least this first wave down. And then we should get a, a, a very strong bounce, a bounce that can in fact uh, make our yearly targets without a great deal of effort. I hope you found this was useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.